The final of the four lost tapes has finally arrived in Payday 2 and I'm here to show you how to unlock the tape, what the full tape says, as well as how to unlock the clown by mask and the surveillance outfit that have both just released as a reward for completing all four lost tapes. So let's just get straight into it. As you know by now, these lost tape missions have three safe locations and six keycard locations. It's been a fixed series right the way through. However, it is organized slightly differently as we have a two day heist this time. I know we had border crossing previously, but for some reason that wasn't two days, but we're on Hoxton break out this time. The layout though is that the six key cards are on day one and the three safes are on day two. So you need to find the key cards on day one before proceeding and then go into day two and find your safe. So I'm going to run you through all the spawns now in Hoxton Breakout day one. So let's transition over to some gameplay of day one. So as I said, there are six locations and they're almost put in pairs. There's like two key cards close to each other in different places. So the first tip one is just outside of this door here. You can see we go along the corridor and it would be in between the bin and whatever the rack thing is on the right. I don't actually know what that is, but it's in between those two spots there. You see it on the floor. The next spot is up here as you come out of the main lobby. On the left, it'll be in that corner there, right there on the brickwork. So that's the first pair. Once you've completed those two, we then move to the other side of the street bit of the map. So we're looking towards the car park entrance and there are two key card spawns. One is on a grate and one is on a bench. So we'll go right along the map here and show you where the two spawns are. So we go around this corner and you'll see just here, as the car park is on the right, the grate is here on the left. It'll be on that grate right there, over one of the gaps, basically. So you're looking for it there. And then the, the fourth spawn, and the first one that I got, was on the bench here by the car park entrance. So you're looking there to get a key card as well. And you can see mine there as to what it looks like. Then if we go into the car park, there are two more spawns. One is inside one of these parking ticket machines. I thought it was on the left originally, but it's on the right. So it's on this one, and it'll be poking out of the card slot. You'll see it quite plainly if it's there. And the sixth and final slot is just over the way here around the skip. So if you go around to the edge of the skip, in between the skip and the pillar, it's right there. And that was my second keycard spawn. So those are the six keycard spawns in Hoxton Breakout Day 1. As I've said, you need to get both of them to then proceed into Day 2 and use them on the safe. Now, in case you're wondering, because I didn't actually know this until this day, you can carry both cards. I wasn't entirely sure you could do that, but this confirms that you can. So if you had any doubts, you can use both keycards here. You can pick them both up on your own and complete the playthrough without anyone else present. So all good on that front. But let's move over to Hoxton Breakout Day 2 to show you how to put the keycards in the safe. So there are three locations as all. One of them is here in the main lobby towards the back left of the room. You can see here, I put the key guards in immediately this time to remind you of how it looks. It glows green, door pops off, and you can grab the cassette. And remember, once you've grabbed the cassette, you don't need to finish the heist. If you want to just pull out right here and get the tape, you can. Second spot is right here in this little side room next to the director's office. So you're looking for a safe there if you don't see it downstairs. And if you don't see it in either of those two spots, the final spot is here in the operations room in that corner there that I fired at with the cash blaster. So those are the locations for the three safes. I think this is probably one of the easiest spawns for Lost Tapes, if I'm honest. I think a lot of the locations were not quite as deviously hidden this time, which was very nice. But that's how you find everything that you need. So as always, we're going to next up move on over to the tape before we talk about it and also look at the mask and outfit. Here is Lost Tape number four, Enemies of the State. Well, this bar is not bad for a dive anyway. <laughs> yeah? You want another round? You buying? Two more vodka sodas. What was I saying before? You were about to tell me what everybody's been saying behind my back. Right. They say you got put on archive duty because you're the laziest agent at the Bureau. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, who says that? Everyone. Well, now they'll say that about you. That's what's so fucked. I'm a good agent. I work my ass off to get on the payday task force. I was going to catch those bastards. <laughs> and how'd that go? Show me a list of the best agents in the whole goddamn FBI. I bet a million bucks none of them could keep Hector Morales alive. But they weren't in charge of the op. You were. Congratulations. I shouldn't be stuck at a desk. It's not fair. Listen. I was all gung-ho when I joined the task force, just like you. I was just as pissed when they dumped the clown case files on me, but now I'm glad they did. Why? Because I realized it doesn't matter if you're out in the field or updating dossiers. Both jobs equally useless. I don't... What are you saying? <sighs> I'm saying... We'll never catch them. <laughs> wow. 
Love that optimism. They broke into the Bureau's offices twice. They literally walked into our HQ and we couldn't do a damn thing about it. So what then? They'll just run laps around us until they die of old age? Oh no, I think they'll get caught, just not by us. By who then? When you stay at the case files, as long as I have, you start to see some connections. Oh god. Is this some Illuminati shit? When the clowns were working with Senator Simmons... If there's no hard evidence that Simmons... It's when, trust me, and when they worked with Simmons, their crimes didn't happen in a vacuum. They got a senator thrown in jail. They stole valuable tech prototypes. They swung an election for Christ's sake. What's your point? My point is, when they worked with the elephant, people got screwed. Powerful people, Washington people. And now there's a secret Annie Payday committee. Come on! No, but there are a whole bunch of politicians and lawmakers who want to see the gang get theirs. Somebody's gonna figure that out. They're gonna connect the dots, and when they do, they'll have an entire shadow network of power at their disposal with one purpose, one goal. Take down the Payday Gang? Take down the Payday Gang. I guess there are worse conspiracies. Uh, my thoughts exactly. Oh, by the way, I got an email from some agent named Stone. Oh, she's some newbie fresh out of Quantico. Wants access to the clown files. She's obsessed. You get about a hundred emails from her a week. Just ignore them. She'll probably have my old job soon. <laughs> Fine. Let her get shot at if she wants to. Huh. That I won't miss. A very, very interesting tape, and it seems to insinuate the person pulling the Payday Gang out of retirement in Payday 3 has some kind of connection to the Elephant, or at least one of the Elephant's missions. Could it be the Elephant is turning on us? Don't know. There was kind of evidence, I suppose, in Payday 2 that he was involved somewhat with Katara, with him being arrested, having ties to one of the coffers that we use for the secret. So maybe the Elephant's got a bit more to him that we don't know about yet. Could be a return for Bokeem Woodbine. So we will see. I'm very, very interested by that. Doesn't quite give us the exact answer that we wanted, but I suppose we weren't going to get everything in the Payday 2 lost tape just more of a hint as to what was going on. This one definitely gave us the biggest hint out of the four, though, again, suggesting the elephant ties. So I'm intrigued to see how they follow that up in the actual story of Payday 3. But just as an add-on to finish off this video, in case you're wondering what you get for completing all four tapes, as I said, there is a mask and a suit that you can unlock. First off, you've got the suit, the surveillance, which I actually think is one of the cooler free suits that's been added to the game in recent memory. I really like the design on it. And as I've said, you get it just for getting all four tapes and listening to them. So if you haven't played every single recording, make sure you play them all, because that's what triggers the achievement. For some reason, it didn't work for me even though I have played them before, but just doing all four of them back to back just fixed it. So literally just stop and start the recording to make sure in case you haven't already played the four of them. But that's the suit. And then you also, as I said, get the clown bite mask, which seems like a bit of a joy ripoff. And in fairness, I'll be honest, not as big a fan of this. I think that kind of lets it down a tiny bit. I think the suit is amazing, but the mask is... Mm, not quite so much, but that's just my opinion. I'd be interested to see what you guys think. But that is everything you need to know about The Lost Tapes number four, the final one, Enemies of the State. And with that, the end of the story hints in Payday 2 that lead into Payday 3, presumably, unless they add something else later down the line, but I don't imagine they will. Who knows? I could be wrong. But that's how to do it. So thank you all very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, as always, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. It shows me you like this kind of content and would like to see more. And click that subscribe button if you want to stay in touch with all future Payday news, updates, and everything in between for all platforms. Forms. But until the next video, thank you all very much for watching. I will see you all very, very soon. Look after yourselves, stay safe, and take it easy.